Today is the five minute saltwater aquarium guide. It's phase two of the cycle and getting past an ugly stage. If you want to avoid or limit many of the challenges that new saltwater aquarium owners run into, today is how. Hey, I'm Ryan, your host of Beers TV and the five minute saltwater aquarium guide. This is a clear, simplified and direct path to setting up that first successful reef tank. It's time to talk about phase two of the cycle, sometimes referred to as a four month cycle that just goes way beyond the ammonia or nitrogen cycle and really gets to the heart of setting up a tank for success. The challenge here is new aquariums tend to have what's commonly referred to as an ugly stage where the rock turns brown, various algaes take hold, or bacterial issues like red or brown slime cover the rock. If you run into that, don't worry, it's pretty common and often only temporary. Fact is, there's a ton of brand new surface area on the rock and sand, and there's total global warfare going on in a newly started tank, every last organism fighting for territory. However, most of the battle is on the microscopic level, only visible to the human eye when something gets way out of hand. So the four month cycle is all about supporting the right organisms in their effort to fight off the bad. Also focus on an ounce of preventions worth a pound of cure. In this case, meaning if you listen to some of the advice here, avoiding all this is nearly effortless versus dealing with it afterwards takes a more involved strategy. So I implore reefers to consider these three steps. First, before you turn the lights on, get the utilitarian fish thriving in the tank. In an earlier episode, we talked about these fish, but in each of these tanks, we put a yellow tang, a small bristle tooth tang, like a coal or chomini tang, and a lawnmower blenny. You'll need to get small tangs, and they will eventually outgrow these tanks, so be prepared in 18 months. You may need to trade them out for smaller ones again. These three fish eat algae for a living and why we put them in these tanks. If you get them established for a couple of months before you turn the lights on, the chances that you run into a serious algae issues common with new tanks are cut down by like 80%. We want you to be part of the 80. We also suggest a six line wrasse or yellow or green chorus wrasse during that time because they eat some of the coral parasites and protect the reef tank in general. Another preventative utilitarian fish you might consider, but we didn't do here, is an aptasia eating file fish, which goes after another common pest in the tank. We didn't add one here because they sometimes go after corals. The second component of our four month cycle is again, before you turn the lights on, send in the microscopic troops you wanna help win the battle. In this case, heterotrophic bacteria troops, which rely on food sources, potentially sludge and other organisms like algae or even pest forms of bacteria. Vibrant and Microbacter Clean are examples of bacteria reefers use to clean up the tank after they run into issues, but they can actually be used effectively up front to avoid the issues altogether as well. Dosing bacteria like this is far from required, but the goal here is the easiest path to success and heterotrophic bacteria are just a valuable tool that helps achieve that. In fact, in many cases, they can be so effective, it almost feels like cheating. As to when and how, we're gonna use Vibrant starting at a point in between when the nitrogen cycle has completed, but weeks before you turn the lights on. Then dose every couple weeks until you're confident that you're past that new tank stage. These types of bacteria don't replicate in seawater, so they do need to be dosed to prevent or deal with issues that they're intended for. I think you're getting the theme I'm taking here, which is an aggressive approach to avoiding algae altogether. That's because algae and pest outbreaks in the first year are one of the biggest challenges reefers run into. It's kind of tragic that the hardest part of owning a reef tank is the first year because it gets exponentially easier after that point. The approach to cycling like this is designed to make you wonder why that is because your first year was a total breeze. Now the third step in the four month cycle is really in unison with these other two. Just sit back and enjoy the fish for the first four months, but do so with the lights off. It's best to let the microscopic warfare play out for the first few months without light. That's because reef lighting is very bright and tends to fuel the growth of photosynthetic pests like algae and brown and red slimes. There's just much higher success rates with letting the tank build up natural biofilms of beneficial bacteria before you turn on the lights. So at the end of four months, flip the switch and turn the lights on with purple rock like real reef, algae eating utilitarian fish, and send in the proper bacterial troops, you may skip the ugly stage almost entirely. However, if you do run into some issues, just let them run their course before adding corals. I believe it's best to think of the ugly phase as just part of the journey for many, and you can often cause more issues trying to solve it than waiting it out. Often a bit of patience and acceptance that this is often part of the journey pays off tenfold versus dramatic changes or solutions. Now that the lights are on, this is a good time to add a cleanup crew of a dozen hermit crabs, trochus snails, nasarius snails, as well as a few emerald crabs to get started. 
It's also a good time to go buy a single piece of live rock from a local fish store and scrape off the purple coralline algae into your tank. All you need is a tiny bit and it should go from there and cover the entire tank over time. Okay, so this tank is cycled and has fish in it. What's next? Well, what do you feed them and how much? I can tell you right now there is a right way and a wrong way to go about feeding your fish. One path leads to an awesome tank and the other certain doom. The entire five minute guide is always available here, but if you wanna know what to feed your fish and avoid others' mistakes, it's all coming up right here.